welcome my dear interns team uh, so on 23rd january we are continuing our discussion on daytradeinsight.com product so let's get started i will be taking you through uh, the product of uh, daytrade insight and uh, consider this will be your first project so suppose uh, if you are submitting anything at college and if you have taken daytradeinsight.com so we will be taking daytradeinsight.com in a way where all the technology of the internships uh, will fall into this particular product. And this is the first product uh, which we offer to the customer, let's say, and uh, how we generate value uh, for the customer. So here, the product generates value in two forms. You have already understood about value in the previous video series, uh, in the previous videos. And uh, let's see. Uh, so there are two types of values which we generate from here. One is the subscription-based model where SEBI registered research analysts provide recommendations uh, to the investors and uh, people, those who are seeking financial advices. And second uh, is audience aggregation where we aggregate an audience for the SEBI registered research analysts. So these are the two forms of value. Uh, which we create using daytradeinsight.com product. Okay. Now, once you are clear that uh, uh, the, the core value uh, is created using uh, audience aggregation model as well as uh, by subscription model. Now, the second uh, part is core human drive. So with this particular pro uh, product, the drive uh, to acquire is triggered. So in most of the, uh, you know, uh, digital marketing campaigns, we try to create campaigns in order to trigger drive to acquire in a particular customer. And on the basis of that, you know, uh, drive to acquire, the customer turns back to us and starts, you know, uh, investing uh, with SEBI registered investment advisors and start seeking recommendations from them. And in the similar manner, when these people get information, they come on the platform, more SEBI registered people, you know, uh, get interested to share their recommendations to uh, the consumers. So these are the two important things whenever you have to, uh, you know, whenever you get started with a product, this you need to know. So uh, daytradeinsight.com is a website. And uh, on that website, various technologies like Python, PHP, SQL, cloud, AWS, you know, uh, a lot of things uh, are used. So we are going to discuss these things one by one. So how uh, we can take it further, let's say, first, let me give you a quick overview of the product. So when you open daytradeinsight.com here, you will get, uh, you know, <clears throat> the first product uh, page where uh, first we have the headers, we have the jumbotrons, we have a get started free button uh, through which, uh, a sign up page is open. Then we have a stock and options watch list. This is a dynamic list. Uh, this we have kept empty as of now, analysis in progress, uh, just for this uh, video series. Uh, these will be displayed to their respective uh, subscribers. Uh, followed by, then we have a day trade inside video tutorial section here, where you can see uh, YouTube videos are linked. And these videos are also currently uh, connected with a database. And we are going to talk about it as soon as we progress further in the series. Third, we have a section uh, or you can, uh, yeah, section for SEBI registered investment advisors. So again, at the back end, we have a database. Uh, on that database, we have a, a data entry of, uh, you know, uh, SEBI registered investment advisors. And through PHP, we fetch uh, SEBI registered investment advisors information and we display it. Then we have an analytic target hits, which is continuously, uh, you know, uh, this is evaluated. So in the real time, uh, as soon as the stock market runs, there are variations in prices. And as soon as a price touches the target, you know, uh, as soon as the target matches. So eventually it gets reflected in the analytical target hits. And uh, this is a table which has been created. And uh, we use server side events technology in order to, uh, you know, display data, populate data on this uh, particular table. So you can also consider it as a single page application, uh, this particular page, because we do not need to refresh 
this page again and again to get the data uh, from the server side. Uh, eventually, we have already set up a server side event, which you will get to know as soon as we progress further. So uh, you will get to see how, you know, uh, table is created, how data is populated. We can understand all of these things. Moving to the next one. So if you can see, we have a great table uh, where information like uh, on what date uh, the target was, you know, uh, recommended by the SEBI registered investment advisor. What was the stock symbol? What was the stock target? Uh, what was the signal on the stock, whether uh, the stock has to be bought or it has to be sold, followed by the um, option uh, which could have been bought against it if you have a little less budget. Uh, then what would could be the option target, uh, an estimated option target on the basis of the stock target is calculated. And this is a hit, so we get a mark that the target is hit. Then uh, uh, what is the minimum fund required and how much is the profit booked? That information is also displayed on the web page. So uh, this is eventually managed by uh, SEBI registered investment advisors along with uh, the RTP, uh, along with data analysis. Okay. And uh, we are going to, you know, discuss uh, these technologies also, machine learning in detail at, about this, using this product as soon as we progress further. Now, then uh, if you go down, uh, we have a returns comparisons table where there is a comparison of investment options and the av average returns, each and every investment option returns. Uh, this is mostly for an yearly phase and uh, followed by, <clears throat> uh, there's a get started free button again, where it redirects to the sign up page where you know uh, a person can register on the platform. Followed by, there are options uh, like upgrade to premium for extra benefits. And uh, what are the benefits of this platform? So advanced technical analysis is being done by day trade inside team. Interactions with the investment advisors is organized by day trade inside team uh, between you know uh, the advisor and the finance uh, the. Uh, trader who's needing financial advice. Then we organize educational webinars. We also organize, you know, we also develop technical indicators and these technical indicators are also provided. Uh, processing of historical data is also done. Then we create a stock watch list, which was at the top of this page. So uh, for a specific day on an analysis, if we have a positive analysis along with an impacting news and uh, highly significant data uh, about a particular stock, then we put that information on stock watch lists. Apart from that, uh, there are facilities of email alerts here. We do have Twitter integrated into the platform and uh, that real-time market news is extracted through Twitter as well as there is an email support facility available on the on the platform. So now if you can see, uh, so initially as a project, you are understanding the business, then you will understand the technology and then you will see how the complete product uh, is ready, become, became ready, okay? Now, and the, what next we have? At the end, we have the uh, description about us and a quick disclaimer. So in the about us, as you can already read, Daytrade Insight is a data analysis and audience aggregation platform dedicated to providing day traders with valuable insights and connect traders and investors with SEBI registered investment advisors to optimize their trading strategies. So that's what the platform do. Our team of expert analysts leverages cutting edge technology and data driven analysis to identify potential opportunities in the stock market. So that is done by the technical teams, those who uh, process the data and try to, you know, extract potential opportunities from the market. So uh, the users use day trade inside and you as an intern team member has to understand how this technology is built. Okay. Now, uh, then we had a disclaimer section where it is already clear trading in the financial markets involves substantial risk and may not be suitable for all the investors. Okay. Then we do have a chat support on this, uh, you know, 
website. So a quick chat support using talk to is uh, introduced. So anybody, whenever you create a website and you want a chat support, you can directly go to talk to, they will provide you a JavaScript and you can integrate that JavaScript into any web page. And there you will get to see this support available. <clears throat> talk to also provides you a dashboard on that dashboard. You will be able to see uh, the viewers and uh, on what page they are visiting and you can have an interaction with them also. <clears throat> <laughs> so now I believe uh, the first part of the project is clear. Now we'll reach out to the second part of the project. When we go to get started free, we have a section where we can get started with the sign up. Okay. So you can enter your name, email address, password, mobile number, and a particular person can sign up the platform. Okay. Now, when you sign up, you eventually get uh, a registered account on the platform, but still in order to uh, get the detailed analysis, a, a person has to buy a premium subscription. Okay. And the link to buying that premium subscription is available within the sign up as soon as you reach out to the dashboard. So I don't recommend all the interns to register on the platform. Please do not register on the platform un uh, until and unless you are uh, personally interested in stock market trading. You just have to observe uh, how this uh, you know series is going through and what all codes and technology and services we will be discussing. And you have to learn it. You have to understand how things are working. Okay, you need not sign up on the platform until and unless you do want to trade yourself. Okay. So we do have a sign up page here. Uh, this is what we will be, you know, discussing how uh, the sign up is created. Uh, so design part we will be discussing in the design uh, duration. Now, then what we have is we do have a login section for a user as well. If I take you to, uh, let's say login. So again, a user can log in into uh, the dashboard. So uh, let's say the email address and password is provided. And if I log into the platform, so eventually I will be logged in. Now here at the top, we will be having an options watch list uh, where uh, there is no option, uh, no uh, stock and option is listed on the watch list as of now. The second tool which we provide over here is an AI open interest chain screener. Okay. So this has been uh, evaluated yesterday at 22nd January 8.35 PM. So here you can see, uh, you can quickly see there are multiple stocks which are displayed on the screen. First, we have a graph. You can see this graph. So this graph is eventually generated with Python programming language. Okay. So what happens, a data is collected or uh, from different sources using Python. Uh, on a cloud machine or on a local machine, both ways it is done as required. Mostly uh, it is done through a cloud machine. So once the data is extracted, we try to process that data through Python. Those graphs are generated. Then these graphs are converted into blobs and then they are uh, sent, you know, remotely uh, to be saved in the database. And they are displayed from the database directly here because uh, uh, the data for every stock would keep on changing. So it's always best to keep a blob ready until and unless we want to have a historical graph data. And uh, you know, uh, so that's how uh, the graph is generated. So graph is generated in Python. After uh, the graph is generated, it is converted into a blob and then it is stored in a uh, MySQL database. And using PHP, uh, for this particular case, using PHP, that blob is read from the database and is displayed uh, in the real time. Okay. Now you can see that similarly, multiple graphs are created. These graphs has uh, you know individual representations and they have a meaning. But since we are not discussing stock trading here, so I'm not going to get into discussion of 
these stocks. But eventually, uh, let me just give you a quick brief so that you at least get an idea. Okay. So suppose if I open, you know, TCS, let's say. So you can see that what do we plot here? We plot demand in the market. What is the demand uh, of a particular, you know, uh, equity or a stock price um, at a specific strike price? And what is the supply available? And on the basis of this, we uh, call it as open interest. And this open interest data is plotted. So you will eventually learn how open interest data is plotted one by one as soon as we progress. In today's session, we are just overall discussing uh, the overview of the product. And then we will get into uh, you know, how these are created <clears throat> now. So uh, apart from that, again, you have the analytical target hit, which you have already seen. Uh, also, what do we have here is uh, we do have uh, a lot of other indicators also, which we create in the analysis segment. So now if I show you uh, earlier, there were uh, two, you know, uh, analyst recommendations were provided for ultra cement and both the targets were hit. Uh, then we have the current technical summary of the ultra cement company. So uh, the uh, recommendations on the basis of uh, overall summary, then uh, how the moving averages indicators are responding, how the oscillators are responding. So you can quickly see, uh, so this data is also updated in real time and uh, it is calculated on a AWS cloud server. Okay. Now, uh, so I will eventually take you to that AWS cloud server uh, whenever uh, we reach out to that position. Okay. Then there are advanced technical analysis uh, is done where, you know, uh, indicators like RSI, stochastic gradient, uh, stochastic descent, you know, CCI, which is commodity channel index, all these indicators are calculated and evaluated. So on these basis of, uh, you know, uh, these indicators in real time, uh, the data is collected, the data is extracted and uh, informed decisions can be taken uh, by the consumers. So eventually, an informed decision can be taken under the supervision of uh, the semi-registered research analyst or investment advisors. And uh, they, uh, you know, do it using tools, indicators, strategies, and a lot of other options. So as soon as uh, you will get into the detail of the product, you will understand how things works. So majority of the tasks uh, which are given to interns on different technologies revolve around a stock market trading application. Okay. And this is an eventual training which we are organizing for our interns so that they understand how our products are created, what is the meaning of these products and uh, how we collect data and how do we process it, how uh, you know, uh, the backend is created, how rest communication is done, how the data is displayed on the front end and how user uses the product. So all those things we are doing in these live uh, discussions, which we are organizing specifically for our interns. Okay. Now, so guys, uh, if you can see, uh, we got to see that. Similarly, we have a, you know, advisor dashboard. So there is an advisor dashboard as well. And if I quickly log in and see, let me just check. So I'll try to get into the advisor login. So once we get into the advisor login, so there are various options like stock symbol, what should be the target, what should be the signal, what should be the strike price, uh, which needs to be bought, what should be the recommendation, what should be the entry price, what would be the target, how much fund would be needed, you know, what is the view of the target, uh, whatever target is being given, how much time will it take to accomplish that if it hits, okay. And similarly, uh, you know, uh, these categories and these, you know, targets which have been hit are given through this advisor panel, which eventually is uh, done by SEBI registered research analysts. So Daydread Inside is one such product which you guys have to create. So full stack web developers need to learn how that design is created. Database people has to understand how multiple databases are created and connected. And then you have to look for optimizations. Okay. 
and uh, initially learn the basics and then we will show you how these things can be optimized as well okay now so i believe uh, this part is clear to uh, all the interns so guys this is how you know uh, so if you can see majorly data is being displayed but when you get into code you will see uh, a lot of real time you know uh, data transmission analysis and things are happening and uh, eventually we will discuss uh, all these in sequence one by one so for today, I wish you all the best. Uh, have an understanding of the product. See uh, this video. Make an understanding uh, about daytradeinsight.com product. And then I will eventually, you know, take you to uh, step by step uh, about how this product is created. So we will have discussions on source codes also. We will have discussions on technology also and how each and every point is connected with each other. So have a great day.